our Saturday morning 8.30 class is our biggest class. People just like exercising on their Saturdays before they do whatever they're gonna do, I guess. Foggy day, foggy day indeed. I've been at the studio all morning, it's noon, heading home. Um, my car always smells like crap, hate it. Okay, so mom, I don't know if you had a stroke or something, but you have a garage door opener for your side, yet yours is open and for some reason mine is closed. I don't know what happened here, but I'm very curious to know. It's really bizarre. Okay, let's see what my mom's been up to. Some type of sweet potato or pumpkin? Mm, definitely pumpkin. A delicious looking roast. This looks like a the Grinch type of roast or something. Like Whoville or something. Mm, that's delicious. And cabbage with garlic and ghee, I think. Mm, that was also good. We've got this wild edibles tasting video that we shot for Adventure Archives quite a while ago now. I mean, it has to be at least a month or two. I really wanna get it done before I go to Japan. So, today's the day where I finally work on it. I don't know what I'm eating, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this is a package that my friend who I'm visiting in Japan, he ordered some stuff on Amazon that he wants me to bring him. It should all be fun stuff. One Walking Dead Monopoly. Oh, that's cool. Why are they making Monopoly for everything? One copy of Yoshi's Woolly World. That is a great game. One colossal pedicure rasp. I assume this is for his wife. And one 128 gigabyte flash drive. Holy bejesus, that is huge. Looks like there was one more. I imagine this is for the new baby, unless their fashion sense has significantly changed. I finished editing that video. Turned out really well, I think I'm gonna show it to you guys. Well, it actually doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure which one I'm smelling, to be honest with you, or if it's the butter, but it smells decent. And I guess it depends upon how hungry I am. Seasoning smells good. Mm. And so what's on the inside? I mean, it's like a popper almost. Like it looks like cheese. <laughs> it looks like cheesy. So that's the milkweed yeah. part? Well, it's all the milkweed. <laughs> okay. Well, as a matter of fact, it's pretty good. And also, that Final Fantasy VII trailer. Maybe I should give my thoughts on that. Yes, I'm gonna give my thoughts on that. Okay, so first thought is that I'm super impressed with how far along they actually are. I thought this was gonna be like a 2018 game, but judging from what they've shown, there's actually gameplay already. And speaking of gameplay, I'm totally cool with the real-time battle system. I saw some people online were complaining that it's not turn-based, but I think it looks awesome. I love these style of semi-action, semi-turn-based games, and you can just go straight up Kingdom Hearts action, and I'm cool with that too. Graphics, gorgeous, voice acting, Really cool how Biggs and Jesse were talking about Cloud. I still don't see why we brought a Shinra soldier along. Look, heavy security like this, you want a professional. And the cinematic direction, oh, classic square, classic Japanese action, love it. <laughs> and the music brings chills to my spine every single time. Oh, even now, just thinking about it, it's so good, man. Final Fantasy VII is a great game. They re-released it for PlayStation 4. Wow. 
Wow, I didn't realize they cleaned up the visuals so much. It's really smooth. They got some sort of filter going on there. Oh, and there's a speed up button. That's nice. You can turn on no encounters, turn on super strength, and you can turn on 3x speed. That's really cool. You know, since my vlog is kind of becoming Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger Central anyway, I'm gonna get out my copy of Final Fantasy VII so we can uh, take a look at it. It's kind of embarrassing to admit now, but when I was a kid, I was a big Nintendo fanboy. And when Final Fantasy went to the PlayStation, it took me a long time to finally get a PlayStation. And of course, it was this game that made me get it. Oh, wow, I haven't looked at this in a long time. Let's see how the conditions of my discs are. Oh, they're a little scratched up. Wow, it's such a big deal back in the day to have three disc games. That's like such a archaic thing to have physical media. Age, 21. Huh. Sid Highwind, he's supposed to be the old man and he's 32. I'm 31 right now. <laughs> oh wow, they had ads for other games. Great game right there. That's Final Fantasy VII for you.